Are we rolling? All right, here is a brushless pulse motor. All right, it's running. And so far, it's been running while for about, what is it? About five days. About five days straight. So we swapped out the batteries with some newer ones to, to uh, um, to figure out if there's something wrong with the batteries. So far, it's been at, we started it out right here with the total voltage. Here we're just using voltage for general energy of the battery. I know you got to use that amp hours and watt hours, but we're simplifying this down. So it dropped because we were tuning it up and then it just eventually started going up and, and up and up in voltage. Yes, the total voltage of the system. Right now, charging batteries are 7.60. There's the charging batteries. Here's the primary batteries. And this is the primary voltage. And as you can see all together, this is 15.72 volts total. So we're going to watch this for quite a while so we can uh, see this go up exactly evenly with this going down which represents your watt hours of energy your amps and your amp hours but yeah but totally just you know it's energy in the system essentially you can look at a voltage of a battery and generally know what the energy is just by the voltage alone it's not exactly accurate and perfect but it's generally going to be correct, especially with new batteries where the amp hours are constant. Um, we use the radio to tune it. On an AM frequency, of course. Yes, on an, on an AM frequency, uh, on a low end of the AM frequency, you can hear the um, pulses. And then what you do, you just start out at a low resistance and you tune it up until this gets faster and faster. I should have done that at the beginning of the video, but it's already been going for a while, so I couldn't quite do it. Maybe on the next one, who knows. Here's 8.12 volts, 7.60 still, so we're still at 15.72. And so it's been like that now here for three minutes since we started the video. And it's been like that for, uh, since this time. Uh, what time is it right now? It is 8.48. All right. So it's only been about 11 minutes. And but it's uh, actually showing a gain. Yeah, it's showing a gain, but uh, we're going to let this run for a while and let it go up, buddy. Yeah, it went up. All right, there's the 7.61 that's going up. Here's the 8.12. So there's your 8.12 and your 7.61. And that is your 15.73. So it's gone up in total voltage. And if you're considering that as total energy, then the energy in the system's actually gone up. So I guess we'll just take the scenic route here for a while and uh, just uh, kind of admire the build of this a little bit, I suppose. Here's the circuitry. This is actually the original rotor 
used in the very first uh, video in this channel. Um, you had to spiff it up a little bit. It was in the shop for years. It was really grimy and dirty. We just cleaned it up a little bit. Tell them about the coil we're using. The coil we're using is actually uh, got one point ohm resistance. Uh, it is litzed with seven strands of wire. Trying to get a good shot of that there. Right there. And then one single wire of the trigger wire, which is right here. The other side of that is where to go. Right there. All right, we got 7.61, 8.12, that's what? All right, 15.70 total volts in the entire system. Did I say 63 or 62? It said 70, it's got 73. Oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. It's 15.73. So it's above that right there. So there's a couple things going on here. It's actually utilizing both sides of the alternating current that the rotor is giving back. <clears throat> yes, it came from the primary power source. So does the collapsing field going into the charging battery. So the charging battery is actually getting a combination of the AC of the rotor and the collapsing field, which happens to be in the same direction. So let's just follow along with these voltages for a while. So if this drops down to 8.11, and this went up 7.62 then that represents 0 0.01 loss here 0 0.01 gain here and the watt hours of energy works out to be exactly the same going into this and coming out of that energy wise so uh, it's been running for days now um, <clears throat> We did have to do one swap with some better batteries. We were actually running these off old batteries, old lithium. These are lithium batteries. You can use them in like vapes or whatnot. So they're really uh, pretty durable batteries. They're going to take a while the discharge and charge because uh, they pack quite a punch of current they are three amp hours not a lot not a lot but as you can see the speed of this and choosing how many amps you think uh it's using about half an amp no, not even. Probably like between 100 and 200 milliamps. Quarter amp. About a quarter amp. Probably less going into the charging batteries, the secondary there. Okay, we got this going up to 7.62. Going towards it. Still at 8.12 down here. So that's actually 15.74. So we got voltage gaining in one battery and not dropping in the other. Yeah. So 15.74, we're going down. It went all the way down to 15.69 when we first started. It's actually literally right back where it started. At 
15.74. Started at 7.18 p.m. It has now been almost an hour and a half past. Um, so we started 8.30 volts in the primary, 7.44 volts in the secondary. What's it doing? It's sticking there. It's sticking at 62. That's real dense current. It's not a fake voltage ghost charge. All right, that's finally dropping down a little bit. So we're still sticking at 15 point, what is that, 73? 73. Oh no, you it's might as 70. well say 74. It's still 74. Okay. So I'm getting off a little bit on that, but that's okay. We generally know we've been watching this rise, right? Total. Alright, I've been 11 minutes into this video. When do you want to cut this Let's off? Cut it. You want to cut it off? Yeah, we'll take another one later. All right, maybe we'll come back later and uh, see where we're at. 